All right, so here's a little optimization problem. It's not, it's not too bad. So it says there are 320 yards of fencing available to enclose a rectangular field. How should this fencing be used so that the enclosed area is as large as possible? All right, so let's look at what we're trying to maximize in this case because they want the largest area possible. And let's look at the other information they give us. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to draw a little sketch of this, all right? And we'll name this X and this Y. And it makes no difference which sides you label X and which sides you label Y. All right. So what I like to do on on this is I like to write down I like to write down all the information that they give me. So they tell me there's 320 yards of fencing available. Okay. So, th so what that means is that the, the 320 is equal to 2x plus 2y. Now, where did I get that from? Well, it says 320 yards of fencing available. So that's the distance all the way around this rectangle. Okay. So, if I add all these up, x plus x is 2x and y plus y is 2y. So if I add all those up, I get 2x plus 2y, and that has to equal 320. And then they want me to maximize the enclosed area. So the area of this thing is x times y, okay? length times width, area of a rectangle. Now, to maximize the area, I need to take the derivative. Well, I don't want to take the derivative of this uh, uh, because it's in terms of x and y. I want to get it all in terms of x or all in terms of y. It doesn't matter which one you get it in terms of. Just get it in terms of one or the other. Well, what I can do is this right here, this 320 equals 2x plus 2y, I can actually solve this thing for y. So that gives me 320. Whoop. That gives me 320 minus 2x equals 2y. And so if I divide by 2, I get y equals 160 minus x. So now all I have to do is I can take this, what y is, and plug it in to my area function. All right. So that's going to give me the area is x times y. And what's y? It's 160 minus x. And so the area is 160x minus x squared. And so now I take the derivative. That's going to be 160 minus 2x. Set that equal to 0. And so that's going to give me 160 equals 2x or x equal 80. And this is in terms of yards. So that's 80 yards. So that's the dimension for x. Well, now I need the dimension for y. Well, what's y? Y is equal to 160 minus x, so that's 160 minus x, and we got x to be 80, so that's 80 yards. So that's going to be 80 yards by 80 yards. So it's actually a square. It's going to maximize the area. All right, so I hope this helped. Check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.